Hi, we are interviewing today Thomas Penn, and he has Tourette's Syndrome. Thomas, uh, tell us how old you are. I'm 14. And how long have you had Tourette's Syndrome? 14. So your whole life? Uh, well, I was diagnosed at 2, but basically, yeah. Okay, and tell us what um, you've experienced. For 14 years you've had Tourette's Syndrome. Um, tell us what it feels like to have Tourette's Syndrome. Uh, doesn't like, uh, I don't know how to explain this. Uh, it's like when your mind goes, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know. It's like when your mind like gets off track. Uh, when your mind gets off track, uh, I don't know, it doesn't really, f you don't really feel anything, it's just that, it's just that you do it, it's just like, it's like you don't, you don't feel anything, but like, uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain. So does... Do you know when you're going to have, um, when you're going to make a tick or a noise? Do you know when it's coming on? Uh, no, I do not know when it's coming on, but I know when I'm doing it. No. And um, do you always make a little noise when, you're, when your uh, body's moving? Uh, when I started yell, yes, but you controlled me to like numb it down to like a little like minimal sound so we kind of we kind of worked on taking the noise from being very loud when you did your tick to kind of a lower sound and so it allows you still to do your noise but not as loud as you would have when you were younger is that right yes um what part of body do do you tick with what part of, of your body i do you tick use? with my forearms and my hands and uh Forearms and hands and like like I use my, like my hands and like mess with my face. Has it ever stopped? At any, since you were two years old, have you have not had any ticks at all? No, I kept on ticking for like for like my whole life. Like it never stopped. And do you know anybody else in your family who has Tourette syndrome? Um, would you want to get rid of it if you could? I'm not too sure. I, I don't know like what it's like without it. So I'm not. I'm not. I'm not so sure. And what do your friends think about it? They don't like really think at all about it. I mean, like, it's just like a, like a little minor thing that happens. Do you, a new friend, if you met a new friend, do you explain to them you have Tourette's Syndrome? Or do you don't say anything to them? How do you, how, with a new friend, how do you present your uh, disorder? Well, usually, like, they, like, never see me doing it. So, I, like, won't, uh, like, say that. But, like, if they see me doing it, then, like, I'll explain to them. But, like, there's, like, really no point, like, wasting your breath, even though when they're going to find out anyways. Does it affect you in school? Uh, sort of, yeah. Because, like, say, it, like, when a teacher is talking about an important lesson and it's boring, and then, like, my mind gets, like, off track, then, uh, and then I'll, I'll take a lot and I'll miss the thing. Okay. And have you had to have, in your 14 years of schooling, have you had to have extra help in school? A little, yes. In what area? Uh, reading mostly because I don't like it. I'm a math fan. Okay, so you enjoy math. Now, are you really good in math? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Awesome. Um, what do you aspire to be when you get older? A computer programmer or a video game designer. Okay, perfect. Do you like playing video games? <laughs> yeah, a lot. Okay, do you play any sports in school? Sports? Uh, no, I used to do wrestling, but no, I don't. So, what extra activity in school? I, I do band. And what instrument in the band do you play? I play percussion. Okay. Now, what grade are you in now? I'm in ninth grade. And that is the beginning of high school, is that correct? Yes. 
and how has it been the first few months of high school? Tell me what, how you feel about high school. It's not as bad as what people say. I mean, like, it's pretty easy. Okay. I mean, like, as long as you do your work and pay attention to the teacher, then you should be fine. Okay, good, good. Now, tell me, um, you've had Tourette's since you were 14, and you've, you don't know what it's like not to have it, um, but has it affected your life? Like, do you feel like um, you're more sensitive or you have, like, issues where you feel like you need to take medication? Or, I mean, is there anything that you feel like you could do different in the last 14 years that you haven't done yet with your Tourette's? I mean, like, I know, like, when you take medicine, you get all these side effects, so... I don't know. I think, I think having it is, like, way better than taking medicine for it. I mean, like, it only, like, happens, like, for me, it only happens, like, every, like, so often when I get sidetracked. But that's, like, about it. And so, in 14 years, you have not taken any medicine? Yes. Yes, I have nothing. I had taken nothing for, for it. Awesome. Now... Are you, do you feel like you're just as normal as any other 14-year-old kid that does not have Tourette's syndrome? Yeah, basically. I mean, like, it's like the only difference is that I, like, I move my hands and, and my uh, arms. That's it. Awesome. Well, you sound like a, like you're really doing great in school and you're progressing in life. Um, what about family support? Let's talk a little bit about that real quick and then we'll tie it up. What about family support? What type of support in the 14 years have you gotten from your family um, dealing with the Tourette's? Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, they're always there to support me. And, and um, have you ever, I know a lot of kids have been bullied or they have issues with being bullied or um, just because they're a little indifferent. Have you ever been bullied? Yes, I have. Okay, and what happened? What do you want to Like, know? When, when the person bullied you, what did they do? I don't know, they call me names. And then what did your family do or, or your support system, what did they do to help you with the bully situation? Well, my sisters, they said they'll... they'll <laughs> They said they would jump him and kick his ass, but uh, my mom, she went to, like, the principal, and they dealt with it. Awesome. So you feel good with your your support, everybody supporting you with this disorder? Mm-hmm. Now, I know that you have started taking driver's education, and you're going to get your permit here in a couple months. Um, are you excited to drive? Yeah. Why not? Are you like it's like a thing that like everybody should like do. Are you afraid to drive? No. Because Tourette syndrome is like like the only thing like when you're gonna do it is when you get like a, like sidetracked or whatever. But like when you're driving, you have to be focused on so many things, like it's hard to get sidetracked. And you never know when your life is about to end, so like your brain's telling you to keep focus. So like why would you do it? That's why your brain's telling you, oh, I can't do this because I'm too focused on it. Oh, that's a great idea. That's, I mean, that's a great uh, viewpoint. So when your brain is focused on doing something, you're less likely to tick. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So then when you're not in, um, when you're not, when you're playing like maybe your video games or you're watching TV, you might tick a little bit more. Is that correct? Well, in the video games, like I'm more like active with my, uh, uh, my hands and stuff and uh, and uh, so like basically like say like um, say like if there's like a break in the game or uh, say if there's like a break in the game then or like or like something happens and then like I gotta wait that's usually when I like start ticking okay so when you kinda have that pause yeah that pause will make me now yeah. do you tick is there a certain time of day that you tick more no. Okay, so you think like equally all through the day. Mm -hmm. And I think overall, in the last 14 years, you felt like you've done really well with dealing with it with no medication, being able to explain it to people around you. 
um, you have a great support staff, you're confident about it. Um, what, just give me a sentence or something, say somebody else who has Tourette syndrome and they're going through a real difficult time, maybe not making friends or they feel uncomfortable. What kind of advice can you give? What kind of encouragement can you say to them that might help them say, wow, you know, this guy has it, he's had it his whole life and I can get through it just like he is. So kind of give us something encouraging. Don't be the shy uh, kid around, like, like, all right, so, like, there's this, like, kid that, like, sits by himself, and, like, most days I'll go to uh, eat lunch with him, and now I'm, like, his friend, and, like, he's really funny, so you never know, like, maybe, uh, maybe, like, uh, like, maybe, like, uh, if you're in, like, class, and you have, like, a group of students, try talking to them, like, in class, like, say how was your day was, then, like, <laughs> then, like, probably, like, in a couple of days, they'll, um, you'll probably grow on them, and then you'll start making friends. Usually, the w best ways to do it is, like, when you're in, uh, when your teacher partners you up with groups, or, like, you can ask your teacher that, so, uh, so you can probably make more friends easily. Awesome. Because you never know, like, uh, if, like, the other person in your group uh, likes the same thing as you do. Awesome. Well, that is a great interview, and I am so glad we got to do this. The last time we interviewed you was seven years ago, um, and we just hope that people watching will be encouraged.